Right out of the gate, we are following two breaking news stories for you this afternoon. A federal judge rules on work requirements for the state's Medicaid expansion program, for one. And a truck carrying a dangerous chemical explodes, killing one man in Washita County and damaging the highway and homes nearby. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5 everyone. I'm Bob Clausen. And I'm Ashley Ketz. Almost 20,000 people lost medical coverage for not meeting the work requirement. And now a federal judge says that's not okay. Kerry Kifro is just joining us now live from the newsroom with the latest on this ruling. And this ruling just came down within about the last hour or so, Jess. What do we know? Yeah, Bob and Ashley, so we're still trying to digest a lot of it, but Arkansas became the first state to implement a work requirement for some of its Arkansas works enrollees back in June. Today, a U.S. District Court judge concluded these requirements for low-income people pose numerous obstacles to getting health care that have not been adequately addressed by federal and state officials. He also blocked the work rules in Kentucky, sending the Federal Health and Human Services Department back to the drawing board. Like you mentioned, more than 18,000 low-income adults in Arkansas were thrown off Medicaid late last year for failing to meet these requirements that they work or participate in another job related activity for at least 80 hours per month and report them in order to keep their health care. The ruling comes shortly after the Arkansas Senate today approved the budget bill for the state's Medicaid program and Arkansas works. Governor Asa Hutchinson just released a statement to us expressing his disappointment in the judge's decision. He says that he will hold a press conference over the future of the work rules tomorrow morning. Back to you. All right, Jess, thanks very much. And, of course, we're keeping an eye on this on our website. You can go to krk.com for more information there.